um, the Black Lives Matter movement, uh, it, it's a Marxist communist movement. And uh, most of the people that are in it are uh, liberals and uh, communists. And they're going around destroying statues as I speak, destroying statues of those that um, were either racist or uh, in support of uh, slavery or anything that oppressed blacks is what comes down to it. And there is a statue they need to tear down. And you probably won't guess as to which it is, but I'll show it to you right now. Here it is. Yeah. They need to tear down this one. They need to tear down this one. Any statue? Yeah. Yeah. And you might think, well, now, why would they tear down a statue of him? You know, why would, why should we tear down a, a, a statue of a fellow communist? Well, I'll tell you why. He supports Islam. And Islam was founded by a white man named Muhammad. Well, he called himself Muhammad, you know, which means the praised one. And in Islam, no one should be praised except for Allah. So he was kind of like partnering himself with Allah right there. And Muhammad owned black slaves. One of them was called Bilal. On top of it, he wrote a Quran. He wrote the Quran, which has Quran 2, 178 in it, which allows you to kill someone's slave if the slave master has killed your slave. It also has the first part of Quran 424 in it, which allows a slave master to rape someone's wife if she's his slave. It says this, forbidden to you are married women. You, you can't have forbidden sex with married women, except, and that's the key word here where you can, except those whom your right hand possess. In other words, your slave. And Obama is for Islam, which is which has that in there. Also, it's anti-black. It, Islam is anti-black. Um, Muhammad uh, uh, said that at the end of the world, a giant monster, well, it doesn't call it a monster, but a beast from the earth, uh, it'll be so huge that it'll have 12 uh, cubit links between each, each joint. It'll come up out of the earth and somehow be able to catch you without crushing you. And it'll have, even though it, it'll have... Uh, uh, the legs of a camel, it'll somehow have the staff of Musa and the ring of Suleiman or Solomon, and it'll, it'll hit you in the face with the staff of Musa and uh, it hit your nose. And if you are uh, going to go to the, the garden or paradise, you'll turn white. However, if you are headed for the fire and going to go to hell, it's going to make you turn black. And and Muhammad said, if you want to see what, what Satan looks like, look at uh, so-and-so. And guess what? So -and -so, guess who so-and-so was? A black guy, you know? And um, I'm trying to think of what else here. That's, uh, well, anyway, Islam is pro-slavery, big time. And oh, blamer. I, I call him a blamer. That's my pet name for him because he was blaming other people. He is very pro-Islam. As a matter of fact, he said, there must be no future for those who slander the prophet of Islam. And what slander the prophet of Islam is, it's just letting people know uh, what's in the Quran and Hadith that you feel is either evil or stupid. That's what slander the prophet of Islam is. And he said, there must be no future for those. And he went so far that in 2012, he imprisoned a guy named, uh, um, he, he imprisoned the, the creator of a, a video called uh, uh, The Innocence of Muslims, which, believe it or not, was based totally on the Hadith. Um, it really was. And, and, and in the process of doing that, he, uh, 
He hurt free speech and he emboldened terrorists, Muslim terrorists, by doing that. But that faith, Islam, that he loves so much and defends, to the point of saying there must be no future for those who slander the prophet of Islam, is anti-black and pro-slavery. If you don't believe me, look up Quran 2, 178, where you can kill someone's slave if the slave master has killed your slave. And has uh, the first part of Quran 424, which says, Forbidden to your married women, can't have sex with married women, except... That's a key word. So you can't have forbidden sex with, except those whom your right hand possess. Yeah. And if you read Sunan Abu Dawud 2, 2150, such uh, sex, forbidden sex, can take place in the presence of their unbelieving husbands that you captured. You know, you can rape their, their wife right in front of them. And, and right hand possess is code for slave. So, these statues of Oblamer need to be taken down because they are pro-slavery. And again, they're, pro, they're, they're pro-slavery and they're anti-black. You know? Because uh, Muhammad, wore, he, he owned black slaves. The most famous one being Bilal. And when Muhammad died, do you think Bilal was set free? No. He never was. So, I thought I'd let you know that. The next statue that uh, Black Lives Matter uh, needs, to be, needs to tear down is these. These little blamer statues. Yeah. Yeah. Needs to tear them down. But 